guys um welcome to a britech mechatronics um kindly like subscribe share for others to see um today what we have is w204 and um the, a customer brought brought this to me and the fault is that um it has a um, um output speed sensor faulty from the transmission they change the black kit and i need to show you something from here and this is entry um, this is star um, i will use the message to code it online to see if it will work um i've used in the ehs ehs part number is there is 222 as you can see 222027027306 and the programming status is um v37 bas07 so um this is the old kit this is the old kit and i need to show you the eh ehs number if in case you don't know where the ehs number is um written on and this is the ehs number zero zero three four four six zero three one two one zero this is it um, from here we, um, um, uh, you won't see the programming status from this side unless you program it so um, I'm going to program it and see this is the old one as I said um, we will need it to code it so uh, let me put it aside and start to disconnect my star and be star guys um, someone who asks what type of um, um, Zentry, I was I was using um, Super MB Pro. This is an online online uh, a, a support online, but I don't have the online account for the Zentry, so I was using offline mode. That's why I didn't use the um, MB uh, Zentry to do online um, program. So I have connected the uh, the Mesics. So we click on transmission. As you can see, I have already clicked on that. The car has start. Um, let me turn it off on the ignition and let's wait for the system to communicate then um, we will scan to see what uh, there is no fault but when we drive it you the, the output speed sensor will come in which um, I strongly suspect the the distance the locket so um, um I'm, I'm going to we are going to check the ecu info as i show you previously on the this thing um what do you call um, i use the mb star to show you the the the, the ehs part number and the this thing uh, ehs part number as you can see from here is 2220 and the programming status as you can see as the same as the mb star so uh, what i'm going to do now is to do online programming and see click from here um let me turn my bluetooth off I've turned the bluetooth off yeah so we click already initial then we click on manual initialization so that it will pick from the already filtered distance so um the, the new control board is already plugged correct hit on continue we understand everything so we will apply by it so it's on Definitely, we will use the EHS password, uh, EHS part number. Uh, it will need the 10 digit, so um, I will. I will uh, I made a mistake. Let me let me pause. The mistake I did was that um, I I I did not set up my um, input, the language input, 
so uh, it won't give me the access to type in the distance the the digit or the um what do you call the ehs part number um the reason is that my my touch is not working i'm using the mouse so the mount uh, the mouse that i'm using always hijack that session so that was why so we are continuing from where we left so um what we'll do is that it will calculate and download everything from the server and afterwards we will put we will input the distance the ehs number it will give you a session to input the ehs part number so as you can see from there the target number is 020029 you can see the current number is this the current is what is in the distance and the target number is what the system will, up, up, or will upgrade to so it's the same as do um, the distance will switch off the the PO went off as you can see afterwards it will bounce back so this thing is normal It will take, um, let's say, two, two, one, two minutes to, you know, get it done. It depends on how strong your internet is. Yes. So, um... So let me pause from this session. It's done resetting, as I told you, that is it. Uh, the P has bounced back, as you can see. Um, so, um, as you can see, it's called in the transmission. On seventy-five. You just you need to exercise patient for it to be done. Start from here again because I paused. And then we take it off.
it's supposed to give me that um, yeah, the EHS number, but I don't know why. EHS part number. The teaching of the sensor is successful, so successful over here. But I'm still suspecting this thing. You know what? Uh, I need to... to test drive it and see if everything is all right so i will i will conduct it i have conducted the test drive and the car drives normal no see anything and this is the transmission still so there is no fault so um, i will still conduct a test drive on it again on tomorrow maybe 